Bismillah rahman rahim uh, Go for the accountant after this find uh, batch delayed or white transaction. The next one is client data review. So let us go for client data review. So most of this client data reviews are already discussed under the accountant centers. For example, we discussed regarding classifying transactions, fix and applied customer payments and credits, write off invoices, fix and applied vendor payments and credits, fix incorrectly sales tax records. And a few more items are remaining, for example, compare balance sheet and inventory valuation, troubleshootings, incorrectly paid payroll liabilities, and uh, then merch vendor is also discussed under the accounting center itself. So now let us go for this one, compare balance sheet and valuation and inventory valuation. What is the purpose of this one? Sometimes the value of inventory is different in the balance sheet and as well as it is different under inventory valuation. Why this difference comes from or where this difference comes from? The value of inventory basically gets a start from here. When you purchase the, when you, when you, when you uh, create a purchase order, when you receive items and interval, receive items and so on. If you receive item through the system, the value of that one will be added into the inventory system as well as you can receive item through interval as well. For example, you receive item from this way. Or for example, you have issued check because of items. So if you receive items in this way, the value of that one will be added into the system. But, but, and also it will be added, it will be added in the inventory account as well. But sometimes if you remember, sometime if you remember we discussed under the journal entry, if we have opening balance from the previous year, for example, we have opening balance of asset, liabilities, and capital. If you enter the value of inventory here as well, then on that case, then on that case, there will be a difference between the value of inventory in the balance sheet and the value of inventory in inventory valuation summary. And up to this point, there is no difference up to the end of December. But if you take, for example, end of 2000, 2020, there will be a difference. For example, difference of equal to how much? Difference of equal to one. One leg. And this is called discrepancy. There is a discrepancy between the balance sheet inventory account and the inventory valuation summary, right? So there is a difference. Why there is a difference? Because of the following reasons. One of the main reasons is this one. What is that one? Click on this. Transaction using inventory account. Transaction using inventory asset account, but not inventory inventory items. Some transactions used inventory accounts instead of inventory items. So that is why there is a difference. If you first use inventory items and then inventory asset, inventory items, if you first use inventory item and then inventory account, so of course on that case there is no problem. Why? Because items are linked with the accounts. But before, if before creation of the item into the system, you use the inventory account, then definitely there will be a difference of that much which you have entered into the system. For example, right now, how much is difference? Difference is equal to one leg. Now let me increase this amount of one leg by a few amount, for example. For this purpose, let us go for the general journal entry. Let us say, for example, from the previous year, I have some opening balance. My opening balance is, for example, a bank balance. Bank balance is, for example, equal amount of one leg, right? Also, for example, let us say from the previous year, I have inventory as well. Where's the inventory? See, I have used inventory accounts. And instead of inventory asset, let us say, for example, I have a balance of equal to two lakh. How much? Not two lakh, for example, let us say it is one lakh fifty thousand. One lakh fifty. And let us say, for example, the whole of them are linked with the uh, partner equity. Save this one. When you save this one, the balance increase. Balance equals to how much? Balance increase to one lakh fifty. Why this balance increase? Again, if you come back here, the difference becomes two lakh fifty. Why this is two lakh fifty? Because some transactions used inventory asset accounts but not the inventory items if you want to correct it then you can correct it from here as well, from here itself then you click on this one okay click on the journal entry you can find out from where this difference comes from if you change this one for example to we can say receivables and select a particular customer let us say a son law and save it there won't be any one like fifty thousand anymore. As well as in this case, if you go for in this case and click on the journal entry, and again if you see there is an inventory of equal to how much? One like. 
Again, if you change that one, or if you increase that one, let us say, for example, in this case, I want to increase it. No problem that how much is there, but it shows or it finds out the difference that the difference comes from where, right? So you can do that one. So for example, if you save this one now, the balance of this side, okay, became three like 10. So make this balance as two like. How much? Two like. Save it now. Now the balance increased to two like definitely. Increase to how much? To two like. How much is the balance? Balance is equal to two like. Right? So once again, click on this one. Okay. Click on this. Click on the journal entry. Basically, why this difference come from? Why? Because instead of selecting the inventory items or receive or increase the value of inventory through the items, we have increased the value of inventory through assets. We have increased the value of inventory through accounts. So that is why there is a difference of equal to how much? Amount of two lakh. Right? And the next problem is, uh, the next problem in this case is that we have increased the inventory inventory asset account but still it is not clear that which type of inventory is increased we have just increased the value of inventory by how much by two lakh so it is not clear that which type of inventory increase for example if you check the list of inventory there are several inventory for example let me check the list of inventory items for example which inventory increase for example book increase for example keep book battery increase for example apple increase food increase which keyboard increase motherboard increase and so on this is not clear so that is why the value of inventory item is less and the value of inventory account is more, right? So if there is an instruction to uh, basically split this one and directly select the items, definitely there won't be any difference. But as in this case, there is no split. And of course, so it is not possible to classify uh, for different items. So that is why there will be a difference of equal to amount of two leg, right? So there is no problem that there is two leg different, but you have to find out from this, from where this amount of to like come from or you can do one thing when you check that there is a balance of 2000 balance of two leg as an inventory then you can remove that transaction as an opening inventory and instead of that you can enter what you can for example receive items and instead of that we can say you can just receive the items but there's one problem that so those items which remain from the previous year uh, okay do you you can do one thing and instead of receiving items, because uh, we need to enter a bill, again, it becomes liability, but we should not create liability. And instead of that, you can go for inventory activities and make adjustments. Why adjustments? Because the balance which you have received from the previous year will be considered as opening balance. So increase the balance of each items. For example, this amount of two lakh which we have received as an inventory. So for example, one lakh might be belong to, we can say computer. 50,000 might be belong to, for example, keyboard. And remaining 50,000 might be belong to something else. So instead of total amount, you can enter the inventory items into the system, right? Now let me go once again back to the pre next points. I will discuss troubling shoot trouble shoot in the uh, troubleshoot inventory in the next video. But for the time, let me finish this part as well. Fix incorrectly paid payroll liabilities. Click on this one. I don't have any payroll liabilities up to this point. Why? Because I have not used the payroll liabilities. And the next point after this one is basically merge vendors, which I've already discussed. So the next point, inshallah, will be discussed in the next video. Thank you so much.